Big Toe Productions, Beats and Feeds. You know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video, and today we're going to do a simple, good old mashed potatoes. Now, it was requested because I did a video not too long ago, beef tips over mashed potatoes, but my video was fe featuring the beef tips, not the mashed potatoes. So, people were requesting to see how I make my mashed potatoes. So, very simple. Today, we're going to do a garlic mashed potatoes. The only difference is one ingredient, and that's the garlic. So, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. Let's get started with some mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are very simple. I know everybody makes them a different way or maybe has their own way. I think mine is like everyone else's. No difference. I got about five russet potatoes here cut up into cubes about this size. Roughly the same size. I'll cut one up here in just a second just to show you how I cut it up. But I put it in water just so they wouldn't brown on me. Um, salt and pepper to taste. In this case I'm using heavy cream if you don't have that. Of course you can use milk or half and half. But heavy cream makes it a little creamier. Now I did say that this is going to be my mashed potatoes. This is not the healthiest mashed potatoes. Using one stick of butter and some garlic in this case. But uh, that's all the ingredients guys. So we're going to get started. I'll cut up a potato here. And um, we'll put these together. I cut up my potatoes in this way. I don't think it's much different than most people. But I just cut it long ways. I like to use the big long jumbo russet potatoes. So I cut them up like this down the middle in half and I cut those halves in half and then I just cut them in like I said pieces about that size crossed it and that's it that's simple and I'm gonna put these in the water and then we're gonna go over the stove and we're gonna boil these up I got my water boiling on the stove and we're just gonna pour these in nice and easy don't want a whole bunch of splash here so, got my potatoes in the water. I'm just going to let those boil until they get fork tender. Once they get fork tender, we'll take them out, we'll strain them, then we'll put the mashed potatoes to get together. But that's going to take about 15, maybe 15, 20 minutes to reach a boiling point again and them to get um, fork tender. Just a, just a fun fact, if you put a wooden spoon over your pot, it won't boil over the edges. It's got to be a wooden spoon. I don't know what it is, but it works. It's a little hack that I learned around along the way. So hopefully that helps you. But I think these are fork tender now. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, they're fork tender. Goes right through them. So we're gonna take these off. We're gonna turn the flame or the oven down. And we're gonna take these off and strain them out. Then I'll show you how I put it together. So to the same pot that I boiled the potatoes in. I'm going to add my full stick of butter. Like I said, this is not healthy mashed potatoes. This is my mashed potatoes. So if you want healthy, wrong channel. But these are, these are really good. So I used to use one of these. I used to mash it up by hand. And it used to come out a little lumpy, which I didn't mind. I kind of liked them. But I wanted something a little smoother. So I went ahead and I purchased one of these potato mashers. Real simple, you put your potatoes in, you mash it down. Matter of fact, let me show you. Put your potatoes in. And you just mash it. It makes the potatoes really smooth. So, I'm going to go ahead and do all of my potatoes. Put them in there. And I'll show you the results here in just a minute. So this is what it looks like once I got them all uh, mushed down, nice and smooth looking. So meet me over the stove and we'll finish them up. I'm going to go ahead and add my salt and pepper, a little bit of pepper here. You know I like pepper so I'm putting quite a bit. But you put your amount that you like to taste. A little bit of salt. And I'm going to put in about a tea, a tablespoon, I'm sorry, about a tablespoon of garlic. I'm using minced garlic here. And we're going to add our heavy cream at this point. And we're going to throw in our heavy cream. 
This is a 16 ounce bottle. Probably gonna use all of it for this. Ah, yeah, look at that. I'm gonna switch to my wooden spoon here. I don't wanna scratch my, my uh, pan. So I got my heat on about medium. I'm going to stir this up. That's about all the cream I'm going to need in there. Just about right. And we're going to let that cook for just a moment. Then I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to give everything a chance to melt together a little bit. There you guys go. Quick, easy mashed potatoes. You wanted to see how I make them? That's how I make them. Don't need any butter in them on top of them like some people display them. Don't need any chives. They're perfect the way they are. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little bite of this. Quick and easy mashed potatoes. I've got a little bit of gravy on top. I'm going to get that bite, guys. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Creamiest garlic mashed potatoes you ever have. I guarantee you that. Hey guys, if you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video, and hey, this is Big Toad signing off. Peace.